All right, since we're gonna be doing some throwing and catching today, let's stretch out our wrists and our arms just a little bit more. So you take one hand out, kind of push down this way, and turn your hand over, push again. Switch arms, palm out. Switch, palm down. All right, bring one arm across. Pull with your other hand. Switch sides, arm across. Pull with your other hand. Good. Now, we're gonna be using your piece of, a piece of paper. So, when you crumble it into a ball, if you keep the ball a little bit bigger, it's easier to throw and catch. If you crumble it up really small, it's harder to throw and catch. So you decide what challenge level you want for today. So if you want a little bit easier, you're gonna kind of make it a bigger ball, maybe that about that size. If you want a harder challenge, you're gonna tighten it and squeeze it a little bit more so it's smaller, okay? So this is what we're gonna be throwing and catching with today. So we're gonna start with tossing and catching. You're toss with one hand and you're gonna catch with either one hand or two hands. Your choice, I want you tossing with one. So start it in one hand, it doesn't matter which hand, we're gonna practice both. All right, so here we get going, you're gonna to toss with one and then catch. When you toss and catch, make sure you're following it with your eyes so you can see where the ball is going and it makes it much easier to catch. So tossing and catching. Get ready to switch hands. Three, two, one, switch. So now you're gonna toss with the other hand. Remember to get it back into that tossing hand. Three, two, one, Back. Now, we're going to be tossing like a rainbow. So you're gonna to toss from one hand to the other hand, and then back to the first hand. So tossing, catching. If it bounces out of your hand, you just pick it up off the floor. Try to catch it with soft hands. All right, soft hands, you're giving a little bit when you catch. So if you don't use soft hands, your hand doesn't move and it makes it harder to catch it. When you give a little bit, it's kind of like you're catching an egg or a water balloon. You don't want it to pop or bounce out, so you give a little bit with it. Now I'd like you to try to start low. So start low and catch it high. Start low. Catch it high. So you have to move your hands from low to high. Get ready to switch your tossing hand. If you haven't already, switch to the other hand. Still starting low, catching high. Three, two, one, stop. Now you're gonna to try to toss it up, spin around, and catch it. I want you to pay very close attention. Watch where it goes while it's in the air. You might be able to spin all the way around. You might only be able to spin part way. So you gotta watch it so you know when it's coming down. 
So you might be able to go all the way around, or almost all the way, but you might only be able to go a little bit. And that's okay. So wherever it is that the ball comes down is where you want to catch it. So tossing it up, spinning and catching. You can spin in both directions. Three, two, one, stop. This time when you toss it up, you're gonna to toss it up, use both hands to tap your head, and then catch the ball when it comes down. So it's toss, tap, catch. Toss, tap, catch. Toss, tap, catch. Stay focused. Follow the ball with your eyes so you can still see it. Three, two, one, stop. Now when you toss it up, you're gonna take both your hands, cross and touch your shoulders, and then catch it. Toss, cross, catch. Toss, cross, catch. Toss, cross, catch. Toss, cross, catch. This one's a little tricky. Three, two, one, stop. Now you're gonna to try to toss it, bounce it off your palm, and then catch it. So toss, bounce, catch. This one you have to really be ready to move. Toss, bounce, catch. If you go a nice and easy bounce, it's a little bit easier to catch. But make sure you're following it with your eyes, tracking it with your eyes. Nice and easy, nice easy bounce. Three, two, one, stop. Now you're gonna switch hands so you're bouncing it off your other hand. Okay, so then it's still toss, bounce, catch. 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 Three, two, one, stop. This time, you're gonna bounce it off your thigh. So when you toss it, then you have to pick your thigh up, bounce it off kinda like a soccer ball, and then try to catch it. Okay, so toss, bounce, catch. Toss, bounce, catch. Try to get it right off your thigh and not off your knee, okay? You can try both thighs also.
three, two, one, stop. Now you're gonna try to put it on your foot and then kick it up to your hands. So you may have to pick your toes up a little bit so that you can get to it. So it'll stay, you balance it on your foot. Then you kick it up and try to catch it. It's okay if you can't get it. This is just a challenge that we're trying. You can go either foot. One foot may be better than the other, which is okay. Three, two, one, stop. For our last challenge, you are going to pick a way to throw and catch. If you want to throw it and bounce it off the back of your hand, bounce it off your elbow, just toss and catch. You want to do one hand. You want to spin around. Your choice. You're going to get a little bit of time to throw and catch any way you want but control the ball and stay in your space. Three, two, one, stop. Nice job working on your throwing and catching today. Uh, we'll get a little more work on this next time. Feel free to practice at home and show your family and friends some of your great new skills.